Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss a tool that is WebWoof. So WebWoof is actually a web application firewall fingerprinting tool. So we discussed in some other video that uh, web applications are the, some application programs which are running on some server. Let's say this is a web server where we have some web application like, for example, Gmail. Let's say and uh, so hackers can actually exploit the applications uh, because of some of the vulnerability which may be present in those applications and uh, so to protect those applications we use WAF so WAF is a web application firewall is here and this is used to protect against different HTTP attacks and this also is used to protect against these kind of attacks that is SQLI or SQLI and XSS. So these are different attacks and uh, with these attacks actually hackers can exploit these, uh, these uh, web server or web applications. And now to protect against those attacks we use a server. So let's say this is a web server. And as a penetrant tester or as an ethical hacker, we need to find if there is any WEF being used by our target. So as an ethical hacker, maybe we'll be hired by some organizations and then organization can give us some target. And first of the maybe we need to find out if those servers are using some kind of WEF or the application firewalls to protect their applications and uh, once we have information about those WAF, maybe we can come up with some of the tricks or the tools to evade or to, to avoid um, that, that firewall so that we can access the web application to find uh, if there are some vulnerabilities in those applications. Now to detect the presence of this WAF, we have different tools and WAF woof is one of those tools that is simply a Python tool that is used to detect WEF and WEF actually to find out this the presence of WEF so WEF woof uses a, it sends HTTP requests to the servers and then response comes back and on the basis of response it can analyze it and can detect it the presence of WEF and can show us the results. In addition to that, we also have a script which we can run with the help of nmap and that script is also helpful in detecting the presence of WEF. So after this brief discussion, we can move to our Kali Linux machine and we'll see that how these tools work. And now for a demonstration purpose, I have this Kali Linux machine and in this Kali Linux machine, we have this WEF woof already installed and to launch that tool, just we have to open this uh, terminal and uh, in this terminal first we are going to maybe just maximize the screen a bit and uh, then maybe we will see that we will launch that web woof tool so for that we have web waf and then this is w uh, zero zero and f and then if maybe if you want to find out the help about that then maybe we can say minus and h so this will give us the help uh, associated with the web woof tool so this edge verbose mode find all so we can see all the details here and uh, this is a list so what kind of list all webs that web woof is able to detect so that is important we can see here let's say we can say simply web woof and minus f web woof is already there and remember this is zero zero that is I mean o o f and then we can say minus L and this will display the list of all the web or the, or the web application firewalls which can be detected by these tools. So with this you can see web has given us all the list of web or sorry web or the web application firewalls which can be detected by this tool. It means like not all of the web can be detected but this is the list which is supported by this too and you can see Cloudflare is one of them and maybe you can see these are the dawn and there are many more maybe you even I haven't seen them but yes you can see these are um, AWS elastic load balancer so these all like popular WEF can be detected by this tool and now to uh, demonstrate that how we can use it so now to use it just we have to first launch this web woof tool and we press enter and now you can see we have this uh, web woof tool launched on our computer 
So here it says that the web application firewall fingerprinting toolkit which we are using and how to use it. So for that they have given example that first we need to use keyword that is web woof and then we can give the name of our victim machine that can be any machine there. So now what we do here, we are going to write the keyword that is webwoof and after write, uh, writing webwoof, we can give our target. So for target, I have one site, website that is hack this site. So some developers have uh, actually created that website for learning purpose, so we can use that. So I'm going to say the name of that is hack this site.org and we press enter and now it's checking to find if this website is using some web and let's see if it can it is able to detect uh, the web used by this uh, website so it says that no web detected by the generic detection a number of requests seven sent so it means there is no like this this tool could not find any uh, any web uh, for this website Let's say we use another some other website. So there is one more website that is over the wire.org. So for again, if we use web woof and this time instead of hack this site, we can use another site that is also for learning purpose. So over the wire.org and we press enter. And now you can see it has started checking it and now here for this site, it says that this site, this specific site is behind Cloudflare uh, that is actually a web. So it means this site is using Cloudflare and this has been detected by this web tool. So you can use this tool for uh, uh, reconnaissance, so information gathering phase in your ethical hacking. And uh, again, reminder that this is only for education learning purpose. And uh, in addition to that, we also have a script which we can run with the help of nmap and uh, I'll show you the use of that uh, script as well, how to use, I mean, how to use to detect the presence of web, IPS or IDS. And also there they have a page here, which is there. You can see this is a script HTTP web detect. So I'll show you that how we can use this tool as well for, for detecting the presence of uh, some uh, web. And with this tool that like as they mentioned on their official website that with this with the help of this tool we can find out uh, the presence of web like apache mode security barracuda php ids dot defender so you can see this is the list of uh, the web which will be detected by this one so how to use it that is also very simple first we have to use keyword nmap and how to use nmap i have a detailed video in some I'll put the link in the description section as well. So nmap and then we have to use some switches. Let's say first one switch is minus st and that st is TCP connect port scan and then maybe minus sv to detect the version, uh, version number and then we have to specify the port numbers. So minus p and port number one of the ports can be 80 for HTTP and then second port for, uh, for let's say HTTPS. So after specifying the port, now we have to say a script. We are asking nmap to use a script and the script is HTTP minus uh, web and then detect. So this, this is the name of the script which will be running against the target. And the target, let's say we are using again same target that is over the wire.org and then we press enter. And now you can see this has started. Uh, scanning the target machine and maybe it may take few uh, seconds let's say and after that it will give us some results and you can see it has given us the same results that this uh, port 80 tcp is open http and it, this is also showing that this is um, that that website is using cloudflare it means two tools are giving us the same results somehow we actually verify this as well in addition to that, there's also one other script that is with the name of finger, uh, I think, yes, that is fingerprint instead of detect. So that's say that this is um, like mentioned that this is even more effective. That is finger, I-N-G, yes, fingerprint. And then we have the name of a target machine so that uh, we can use for learning this. And uh, let's see what is the result by this. Hopefully it should also give us the same result which says that in some of the situation it may be more effective to use that script with nmap too.
So you can see here we have again this cloud clear as a result. So that's it. Uh, uh, we could find the presence of some uh, presence of some web, uh, which is used by the uh, by by the target uh, website, and um, so we are only allowed to use only website where we have permissions. And these are some of the sites which I showed there. They they are only for learning purpose, and hopefully this might be helpful for some of you that how to detect the presence of web. And once we have the information about web, maybe then we can come up with some strategies to avoid or to evade these um, these web. So thank you, thank you very much for your time. Hope to see you in some other videos.